Hello, welcome to this channel. My name is Jenna, and today we shall be playing Animal Crossing. More specifically, I will be giving you all a nice tour of my island. Also, I am playing on the GameCube controller for the Nintendo Switch. It's very clickety clackety, just like the Bruno Mars song. <laughs> Again, I don't know if anyone will get that reference, but if you hear that, please just know that's the controller I'm using. So, welcome to Elysian, or shall I call it Mannequin Island, as I will tell you later on. So, my first two villagers were Cherry and Flip, then my next three were Sue, Peggy, and Tia. I did not search for any of these villagers because I did not know to do so. <laughs> Which was kind of... I, I lucked out there. Then my first campsite villager was Bairdo. He stayed four days until I realized I had to take him. So, <laughs> there we have it. I actually really like Beardo right now. Then we have Mira. She was my first villager that I went searching for. She was on the very first island I used a Nook Miles ticket on, and I love Mira, like, ever since New Leaf. I'm very grateful to have her. Then I have Del. He just moved in. I didn't look for a villager. It was up to the Animal Crossing gods. <laughs> then I have Tabby. She was on my very first tarantula island. And I had to take her home. Then I have Violet. She just came in and had a nice old time. Not sure why I needed to tell you a little story about all of them, but there you go. So welcome to Elysian. Uh, as you can see, I like to call it Mannequin Island because there's mannequins everywhere. I saved it specifically for this video. <laughs> so there's that. On the floor I have a bunch of DIYs and just fossils for my friends. Clearly, there's more than 15 things on the ground so I don't have a 5 star island right now. But if I picked everything up, I would have a 5 star island. My entrance is inspired by this island tour I saw and then I realized mine's so much uglier so I hate this whole entrance. We have our public stop, we have our bamboo doll, nice. This is all work in progress people. On my 185 hour island, this is quite mediocre. <laughs> this is Cherry's house. Love her. You know, we got our little lime scooters, our bicycles. There's Tia. Now. Oh, I have all these mannequins for specifically this reason. I moved my rock garden. <laughs> this took a lot of work. It, it actually took me three weeks. Uh, <laughs> and it's only supposed to take you six days. But I had a lot of bad luck. And I missed a lot of spots because I didn't follow Mayor Mori's video correctly. <laughs> I could do a whole in-depth video of things I learned about how to move rocks because a lot of videos did not cover what I learned, but that's aside from the point. Anyway, we have a little play area which I will be redoing. I wanted to have like a park vibe, but I don't- I didn't like it, so I put a rock on it next to it. Should I save the beach for last? Okay. I have all these uh, plants. I 
have all these flower seedlings because I will be doing a 12 by 12 garden. Um, I just wanted to wait till I filmed this video to do so. Over here we have whatever this is. <laughs> I have a fossil in there. I don't know if that will bother people if I don't pick it up, but I won't. <laughs> Ping pong table, a Wilson. Oh, Yoda's gonna. Oh. I thought Berto was going to teach me a reaction, but now I'm buying a baby chair. Let's see, baby chair. Oh, that is adorable. I will be keeping that. <laughs> yes, this is my resident services. Oh my goodness, <laughs> everyone's here. I like to have a couple instruments in the front just in case everyone wants to you know, play some music. Over here we have a few vending machines in my museum. I just wanted to keep the mannequins in the video so you all know the pain I have been enduring for three weeks. <laughs> I'm going to turn this area into a park so I don't know if you see the vision. <laughs> Down here, I have miscellaneous items, honestly. I don't know what to do. I was thinking about building uh, Katrina's you know, fortune-telling area. I think I might still do that. I, so if anyone has the astrology rug, please let me know. Yeah, there's just me. <laughs> There's just some miscellaneous items, like star astrology things, <laughs> baseball mitt, chair. Anyway, I also have a lot of placeholders for a mannequin spot. I don't know if you can tell, but I have more mannequins than I should have because I did it all wrong. So, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to mention. This is completely disorganized. I wanted to let everyone know that this was my original rock garden. And turns out that this block was too close to not this vending machine, maybe the museum or maybe this lamp, but what that, what, he definitely should have uh, caught that. I don't know, the game is rigged. <laughs> anyway, because of this square, I was not able to complete my rock garden, which was quite upsetting to be honest. And we shall go up 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 up. We shall go up here. This is like the city courtyard area. I was gonna put a fountain here, which obviously I did, but I'm gonna move it. And this was the second spot. I was gonna put the rock garden in and then I realized yeah I realized that this garden was all in one acre and that couldn't work either so I just put some trees down <laughs> and if you see a table over there this is where Tia used to live until I moved her yes 
also, I don't know if you can tell, but I have cherries as my natural fruit. This is Timmy and Tommy's Nook's Cranny. This pathway is kind of ugly. Will change. Let's see. I will. I think I will just be going to the side here. We have my only Lily of the Valleys and the Able Sisters. Most of these flowers I planted because I did not want to plant them on the ground and have me run over them. So I believe I could also take these to build a, a hybrid garden, but I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm, I, I'm just deciding to start fresh. Back here. Oh, by the way, I did clear up some mannequins so I can walk through a little bit easier. <laughs> so here we are. We are at my campsite. Oh, pocket camp? Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has so many good items. It's upsetting. But also good for them. I feel like this is a pretty good area. I might move this. I really like it. I know I know you all want to know who's in the campsite. Ta-da! <laughs> it's still be Yes, Doby will be moving into my island. <laughs> I have replaced Stu, and the only reason why I chose Stu was because for his birthday on 420, I gave him a pot and he gave me a trash can after. <laughs> Some pansies, because I ran out of space up above. Over here, we have a little diner on the beach, you shall say. This is inspired by the diners on the beach near me. Quite fun. And then if you come down here, you'll see, you know, the beach side and my house. Unintentionally, I made it look like Cherry's house, but I like the colorway, okay? I think I will come back and show you this area at the end, but this is essentially what I have. Mobility on this island, very difficult. Accessibility, not there. I just got the DIY for this sign and I'm very excited for it. This is the housing area. I will be changing up everyone's little fence designs and trying to add a little item in front of their house so they have like somewhat of a yard. I don't know. So we have Tia's house, Peggy's, Violet's. Down here we have Mira's, Dell's, Flip's. I'm sure you all got this from the mini map, but let me explain anyway. We have Stu. Let's check up on him, Stu. Before he moves away. Oh. How cute. I'm gonna miss him. But, you know. I do wanna cycle through a few villagers in this game. I didn't really cycle through a lot of villagers and New Leaf, so, you know, 
I want to experience things here. Anyway, Tabby's house and Beardo's. Oh, yes. I left this on the beach. It has been raining on my island quite a bit, so I've been trying to catch more rare fish. Um, has it been working? No, not really. <laughs> Ooh, big fish. Down here I'm trying to create a little carnival area. So, again, I don't know what I shall do with Katrina's little fortune teller island. Sorry, I meant, I don't know what I will be doing necessarily, but it's a fun thought. Cotton candy, pink popcorn. We got a fun teacup ride and a little pony. Oh my god, Gulliver. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know he was here. Okay, I, I shall attend to his needs a little later. And my lighthouse. I'm not in love with like that colorway or the placement. <laughs> Me and my whole island. Me and my whole life, actually. Ugh. Whatever. Oh gosh. I'm so sorry if all the mannequins are infuriating you. Down here, we have again another miscellaneous area but I'm trying to make a celestial movie theater vibe out here I don't have this DIY my friend gave me the moon chair and I really want the DIY so badly also I really want the black box sofa parts please someone red nooklings please give them to me A little bear over here, but now we have my gym. Holla! <laughs> oh, huh. I guess I have either four or five fossils today. Sometimes I have five fossils. Interesting. Up here. I, I don't know. I try to breed flowers without looking at a guide, and this is what we have. Oh my god, Dell, <laughs> kind of browsing around. Over here is was like a wedding-inspired area. Like that's the inspiration I took it from. But I don't want, I don't want it to be a wedding area. In fact, I just want to call it like a special occasions area. But yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Del really making the appearance. So there's nothing much over here. Yeah, not at all. Where are my money trees? Ever since I put the mannequins down, I haven't seen a money tree spot kind of pop up on the ground anymore. But perhaps that's just me. Welcome to one of my favorite areas, which is Club LOL. The kids don't even know who Dr. Shrunk is. Club LOL. I tried to make it kind of like the actual club in New Leaf except bigger and pretty cool. <laughs> I also want to kind of build like an arcade around it. So we have, you know, the games over there, Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo. Ideally, if we had gyroids in this game, I would set them up the way they were in New Leaf, but we don't, so. There's that. 
Okay. Now we shall go up here. By the way, I don't know if you can tell, but I did not really terraform this island. I kind of want to just, just leave it how it is and, you know, work around it. This is where I put all my uh, natural roses because, again, I did not want to run over them. I call this like a resource area. I have all my bamboo, all the trees, all of them. A bunch of sticks on the ground. A few mannequins. And now we are here at this little coffee chill area. As you can tell, I'm very much in the progress of everything. Originally it was just um, the stand with, you know, my town flag, but um, I've decided to change my whole outlook on this area and I will be doing a whole quote-unquote build of, of that. Excuse me, excuse, excuse me, oh gosh, okay, <laughs> little wagon, more roses up there, yes, this is where my orchard is currently, originally it was much cuter and like less cluttered, but I moved some things and I just ended up putting more trees in. Yes. Also, uh, my secret beach is back here, and I don't know what to do because I would really like to open up this area, but then that would change the whole look of my island. So we are not going to do that and resist the urge. I believe that is it for my entire island. Not that big. Um, I'm trying to make it feel a little bit bigger, but that is all. So for my house, I have my nice loom, did not edit it. This is my first turtle that I ever caught. Their name is Aurora, Aurora, I don't know. I caught them on my friend's island and they named me them. And that was the one I caught after, and the final one I recently just caught. Obviously my firstborn had to go to Blathers. <laughs> and this is my house. Which, again, if you run down to Cherry's house, it doesn't look that different. Cherry? Cherry's like my vibe. And unintentionally the spokesperson of my island, since she doesn't live with everyone else, but actually, she's not my favorite character. My favorite character is, um, Sydney. So, looking for her soon. Welcome to my home. It's a cluttered mess. Obviously, my favorite song is KK Rock. You know, we gotta have our, uh, Nintendo Switches, a sewing kit, sofa. Oh, wrong way. TV. Oh gosh, now I changed the camera angle. It doesn't look good. Hopefully this doesn't give anyone a headache. <laughs> ah, Rover. I'm <laughs> Rover's briefcase. I really want Rover to move in as a villager. Rotatan. My little plaques. My bears. I don't even have a bed in here, oh my god. Oh, wait. I don't know if you can see all the things on my wall. Imperial stuff, plaques. The clock that no one ever sees. Sorry if that gave you a headache. <laughs> we shall go over here. This is my 
I don't know, room. <laughs> I don't know why I have like three beds. I originally had another bed here, but I just recently took that out. <laughs> I don't know. I love this wallpaper. Oh my god, my friend just gave me this because Sahara, Sahara never does me well at all. And my friend's little sister gave me this nice poster here. And I left it there. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that room. Here we have another miscellaneous room. I don't want to make a kitchen. I really don't. But... I don't know, I just threw some stuff here, and it's kind of like a bathroom, kitchen, I don't know, I, I should really sell some of these things. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> In the back. We have our seasonal room. Yes. We got all the bamboo DIY here. Originally had bunny day back here, but we don't talk about bunny day. Yes. My little lights. My my bamboo. <laughs> yes. Nothing too exciting there. I mean this whole this whole thing. <laughs> Up here is kind of like my bedroom. Ideally, I would have the gorgeous set and the princess set, but Gracie apparently doesn't exist yet. I don't know where she at. I miss her. So I have the imperial bed and the rose bed. I really like these two beds. Incense, the spring wall, I suppose. A desk with a computer, because isn't that what we're doing right now? Unless you're on your phone or tablet. Gotta finish writing, but no chair, <laughs> standing computers, I mean, standing desks, everyone. Oh, I didn't even notice that, that detail of like, the pot, huh. Oh, I've always dreamt to have a bed like this in real life. Anyway, and then up here, I have three of my favorite albums. We have Exo's Temple. NCT's Empathy and Wavy's Take Over the Moon. I don't know, it looks a little distorted to me. I might edit that a little bit. And I do plan to put on, put up more album posters. I really do like music and, you know, why not show it off? Anyway, that is it for my island tour. Oh my goodness, this took a lot. And I will cry if this video recording does not go well. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I shall be picking up my fossils now. And I hope you all have a good day. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you want to subscribe, please do. And I hope to see you on the next one. As I was picking up my fossils, I realized that I missed an area on my island. So, <laughs> tour continued. Down here, I have my onsen by the beach. I've been thinking about moving this to a higher elevation so it could replicate, you know, a real onsen. But this is what I have. Tatami bed, zen pillows, and you know, the whole vibe. Some shell stuff. A nice cushion. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite parts of the island, I'm not gonna lie. I played a lot of instruments in school, so this just takes me back. 
got a violin, a grand piano that both cost way too much money. Way, way too many bells. And a shell bed. But then bam, we got Stonehenge. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why I did that. That is all. <laughs> I'm gonna go now.